Did you know that being bilingual comes with a whole lot of benefits beyond the wonderful yet obvious fact of speaking two languages? For example, your child is likely to be able to focus better in school and he might also have more empathy at preschool age than his monolingual peers. Watch today's episode to find out all about these wonderful advantages that your child is getting thanks to being raised in two or more languages. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Carolina and I've started this channel to share knowledge and practical tips on how to raise a bilingual or multilingual child. We all know that speaking two or more languages is fantastic because it improves our job prospects, it makes traveling easier, and it also increases our cultural awareness. But beyond that, research has shown a lot of benefits of bilingualism in other spheres of life, such as education, health, or social skills. So today, I'd love to focus on those in more detail, because if you're raising your child in two or more languages, you know how much effort and careful planning it requires. And sometimes it might just feel really challenging. So I feel like knowing how much your child is getting out of it can be a great motivation for parents to keep going. Everything we're talking about today is based on research from the last 20 years or so, and I'm going to include the references in the description box for those of you who'd like to read up on this in more detail. First, let's talk about something that many parents are worried about, and that's your child's performance in school. There's actually been quite a few studies showing that bilingual children do better in various subjects compared to their monolingual peers. One of such studies was done in the UK, where the researchers tracked the development of 19,000 children from infancy up to the age of 11, and those were children of immigrant parents. So they spoke one language at home and then English at school. And what the researchers observed was that by age seven, those bilingual children outperformed their monolingual peers in both reading and maths. The researchers suggested that one reason for that could be that those immigrant parents invested more time and effort into learning activities at home. But perhaps it's not the only reason. It's been suggested in research that bilingual people, because of this constant juggling of two languages, develop better executive function skills. That is that set of skills that allows us to reach our goals, for example, problem solving or planning. And because there's already been an established link between executive function and mathematical achievement, another group of researchers decided to examine whether there would also be a relationship between bilingualism and mathematical achievement. And so they looked at two large data sets collected in the US, and those were focused on children between the ages of four and seven, so at the beginning of their educational journey. And what the researchers found out was that in that age group, again, bilingual children did better in terms of mathematical reasoning or early numeracy skills, such as identifying numbers or counting, when compared to their monolingual peers. More than that, there are some fMRI studies where we can actually see that bilingual people have significantly more gray matter in that area of the brain that's responsible for attention, for example. So it might be that your child will be able to do better in school because they'll be able to focus better. There was a study done in the UK where a group of primary school age children, some monolingual, some bilingual, had to listen to recorded sentences and answer some simple questions. But there was an interrupting voice as well on those recordings. And what the researchers found was that bilingual children were better at ignoring those distractions and just focusing on what was important. So they were actually more accurate in their answers because they were able to focus 
on getting that information that they needed. Another good news is that young bilingual children might have better communication skills. It's been suggested that thanks to this multilingual experience, bilingual children develop the ability to understand the other person's perspective at a younger age. They have a certain sensibility to differences in perspective in general. And this is usually tested with something called the Sally Ann test or a variation of it. The general idea is that Sally and Ann are puppets and Sally has a marble which she puts in her box and then she leaves the room. At that time when she's gone, Ann takes the marble out of the box and she puts it in her basket. And the question that the tested children are asked is when Sally comes back, where will she look for her marble? And the very young children, usually under the age of four, fail this test. They say that Sally will look for the marble in the basket because they know that's where the marble is. However, once we develop this ability to understand the other person's perspective, we will answer the question correctly and we'll know that Sally will look for the marble in the box where she originally left it. So studies that compare the performance on this task between bilingual and monolingual children have found that it's bilingual children who often do better and they develop this ability at a younger age as well. And that's great because it's such an important social skill. It leads to developing empathy as well. And so the sooner your child has it, the better. And it can definitely help in making new friends. You'll be also happy to know that there are some health benefits that bilingual people have. These are likely to come in handy a little bit late in life, as you'll see in a moment, but it's definitely good to know, I think. There's been a very promising study done by a science team in Canada, which showed that bilingualism could help delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease by as much as five years. It was suggested that this is because when people speak two languages on a regular basis for a period of years, they develop a certain kind of cognitive reserve because speaking two languages and swapping between them on a regular basis is a kind of mental training for your brain. So while their brains will still show damage from Alzheimer's, bilingual people have a better ability than monolingual people to compensate for that and they don't show those typical symptoms such as confusion, memory loss or difficulties with problem solving for a much longer time. Another study looked at stroke survivors in India and again bilingual people had an advantage there. They had a much bigger chance of cognitive recovery. They were actually twice as likely to recover as monolingual people. All right, and let's finish off with a few more positive facts. So there was this big study done in California in the United States. They compared the populations of monolingual and bilingual young adults living there. And what they found out was that number one, balanced bilinguals, so those who spoke both languages with a similar fluency, were less likely to drop out of high school. And number two, all bilinguals, on average, whether they were very fluent or had limited fluency in the second language, were more likely to earn more after graduation. And on the other side of the pond, in Wales, researchers found out that bilingual Welsh English speakers were more likely to get top qualifications and top jobs when compared to those people who only spoke English. So there you have it. I hope you'll agree with me that this bilingual parenting journey is really well worth it. Were you surprised by anything? If yes, or if you'd like to learn more, please let me know in the comments below. By the way, I'd really love more comments, guys, so <laughs> I'll appreciate anything you have to say. Thank you for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future episodes. And if you enjoyed this one, you might want to press that like button. See you next time, everyone. Bye.